are you with MIA Microflight once again and in this particular video you're viewing the uh, material that I'm going to be using for creating a sail this is uh, the drawing that I did for the full scale land yacht or dirt yachts land sailors I mean it's got various names that these things go by but this is the uh, one that I designed and I wanted something that I can make adjustments really easy so I ended up uh, using uh, this uh, uh, perforated tubing this is steel tubing that you see over here I started with the one behind that which is almost like a, a go-kart uh, shape uh, structure with PVC tubing but that ended up a little bit too weak and that's using one and a half inch uh, pipe PVC pipe and it's got uh, several joints I don't want to go too crazy with joints uh, otherwise it would have been uh, a little bit stronger but I think uh, steel is the way to go the wind it's uh, picking up a little bit today I was uh, running the radio control once a little earlier but it wasn't it wasn't moving <laughs> look at this now the wind comes so I am about to uh, draw the, the pattern on this material. Now I'm using Tyvek because uh, I have this leftover roll here from uh, doing uh, some construction work. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is, this is definitely going to work. Wow, now it's getting windy. Looks like I'm going to have to this a little better with the uh, bricks so I'm gonna have to grab a couple more bricks to secure it in place I'll come back to this video this is the poly land yet it's moving fast here Anyway, I'm about to draw some lines here so that I can start cutting the main pattern for the sail. And this is Tyvek. This is the uh, pattern that I'm going to be using. Just a rough sketch. And I was doing this while I was having breakfast. So here's a sketch, and this is what I'm going for. I'm going for a. Uh, uh, the uh, shorter the sail. Um, the greater the wind that is required so typically a uh, four meter sail should be sufficient for this type of land yacht here it's a single person land yacht and uh, that should be sufficient with uh, moderate winds and this is almost like a prototype of the sail that I'll be doing because I plan on doing a, um, another sail made with a rip step nylon mylar and Dacron so I'll be doing that but this is going to be my prototype so I'll be doing the lines and then I'll come back to this video okay so I have uh, traced all the lines and dimensions to this Tyvek roll so this is going to be the mast uh, vertical line it's a foot away from the edge here and I'm going to have a strip of a foot long by it's uh, 3 times 4 12 14 feet long here the distance from that line to this line is two feet. This one is uh, three, three feet, and three feet and three feet. These are the separations for the angle lines here. That one is three and a half. That one is uh, two foot eight inches. That's thirty-two inches there. And that's so that it'll give me all these angles here. Three feet, it's four feet, 
three feet, four and a half feet, three feet, five feet, six inches, and five and a half feet. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut along these lines here, along the perimeter of this uh, sail uh, line here that you see here, and then I'm running over with this uh, orange uh, stick. And once that's done, I'm going to have this strip here, this long strip here, which I'm going to fold in half, and I'm going to use that as my um, mast uh, pocket. So that'll be taped and sewn to this edge here at about uh, two inches from the edge. This section here, what I think I'm going to do here is I'm, I'm going to um, also cut another um, rectangular section here to reinforce this side. Maybe a six inch strip folded in half that'll give me three inches that'll reinforce this or maybe a little bit thick, well, wider. Uh, same thing here for the rear section of the sail. The foot is on an angle, and uh, the boom will probably go on an angle like that, or I can put it right on top of there, provided I reinforce this section here for the uh, tensioning uh, eyelets. So I'll do that uh, when I get to those uh, uh, points there. But basically, this is the tracing of the dimensions to this Tyvek uh, piece here. Just to show how easy this Tyvek is to cut, I don't even have to use the the up and down cutting of the scissors. Just put the scissors underneath and close it a little bit and slide it. I'm cutting the last portion of this sail pattern. Boom, and it's done. So. The sail has been cut. This section is separated a bit here, and this is going to be my mast pocket, which I'm going to fold in half. I am going to re reinforce this. Uh, maybe go double here, it's because Tyvek is—I mean—it's pretty strong, but uh, it, it does need uh, reinforcements, you know, for a sail of this uh, type. Uh, I'm going to roll that section here that's already been cut, and you can start to see the uh, pattern of the sail a little bit better. Now, I did not allow for any seams as part of the sail. The seams are going to be sections that are going to be added, folded in half and reinforced along the edges. And that provides a much better uh, sail. Very much in the same way I do my radio control sails here. They're all reinforced with uh, you know, the, the mylar, which is this clear stuff is separate than the, uh, than the mast uh, pocket. And then the uh, trailing edge se section of the sail. As the boom uh, section here is also a separate piece. So I'm going to be applying the same build techniques to this larger sail. Uh, and it should go fairly quick and fairly easy. So far, I mean, it's taking me maybe a half hour to uh, trace the lines and cut this uh, tie back. Um, reinforcing it, uh, sewing it, and kind of putting some uh, finishing touches. I think it's going to be another, maybe a, another hour or two hours, so I'll come back to this video. So here's how this is going to go. This is a uh, basting tape or double-sided tape that's used for making sails, real sails. Um, I've already adhered a line here, a strip all the way. And this is going to be, um, this is going to hold this section here, which is going to become the uh, mast pocket. Now, I got this left over here at the uh, edge here, so I'm just going to fold that over, just to provide a little reinforcement here for a grommet. So I'm just going to fold that. I'm going to be sticking this to this edge here. I'm going to be folding this and uh, double-side uh, tape 
to this side as well so it holds in place and then I'm going to sew that now this is going to come in about two inches so this will be under two inches here to provide a nice reinforcement when I fold this over so I'll do that I'll uh, probably do the same on the edges as well as on the uh, foot here and uh, take it to the sewing machine so all those uh, edges and then I'm going to do the batten pockets which are those lines that you see there there's one two three four plus an angle one that supports the uh, upper section of the uh, trailing edge I'll do that and I'll come back to this video so on this piece that's left from cutting the sail pattern I have attached double-sided tape on this edge here and what's nice about this type of material is that it has all these markings which can be used as guidelines so what I'm going to do here just to simplify things is I've already attached double-sided tape to this edge I'm going to fold this and use these red marks here as my guide line so I'm going to fold the material like that one time and then I'm going to use this strip here and then I'm going to cut it and I'm going to fold this again in half and that's going to be my reinforcement for the trailing edge of the sail so I'll do that and I'll come back to this video okay so here's the strip it's been cut double-sided taped this is folded in half and I'm folding this again in half so it's going to be four ply folded and that's going to become my reinforcement for the trailing edge of the sail I'll follow this along this line and then up at the foot and then I'll probably have to make more of this to finish the foot section there and reinforce the corners here as typically sails are done I'll do that I'll come back to this video this, uh, section of this video you can see the reinforcement uh, piece that's going to go on the rear or the trailing edge of the sail I've already double side tape the uh, the edge here you can't tell the tape but it's there it's right here sticky so it's got a full strip all the way to the end where that angle starts for the tip of the sail so I'm going to stick this underneath I'm going to match the edge of the sail with the fold line of this strip flip it over double side tape this edge here and it'll seal the edge here all the way from the top to the bottom of the foot section I'll do that I'll come back to this video okay I left a little bit of overlap here so it's a nice and sealed section here okay I'll double side tape this edge here flip it over and that'll hold it in place okay so there's the sail I'm using a pool skimmer pole which is fiberglass it comes in two sections and it, it extends up to 15 feet now this sail from the bottom to the top is 14 feet 3 6 12 and two additional feet that's 14 feet so I may need to lower that sail because I do have room at the bottom of the, the trike uh, for uh, head clearance so I think I'm gonna lower it because I think it's a little too too tall at 14 feet that's a little bit over a little bit over um, three meters actually yeah, that's about right you know three to four meter four meter sail is what they they use on these blow carts so I might uh, just end up keeping it the way it is and try it that way uh, right now it's kind of a test fit so I don't have the boom yet I'm just using a piece of uh, one inch uh, wood just to hold it in place it does need the ribs for reinforcement that's why the sail is buckling um, at the uh, top there but it gives the general perspective an idea of what this thing is going to look like I still need to finish the trike I need to make the seat I need a pipe bender to do that um, I was thinking about welding but that means I need to purchase a welding equipment and I'm not about to do that 
just yet, just for this uh, prototype. I just want to make sure it works before I end up uh, going into a, a welded uh, frame. That's why I'm using a tubular um, telescopic uh, steel square tubing for this uh, trike. So anyway, this is Mario with MIA Microflight. I think I'm going to call it a day. It's getting a little bit dark. It's, uh, it's about 6.30, 7 o'clock in the evening here in Arizona time. So I'm just going to take it down. I need to sew it and I need to reinforce it. And all the uh, all the areas where that needs grommets, you know, for the uh, cables and in order to tension the sail properly. I also need to put that in pockets, so I need to make those out of the same material type. It's great stuff, and it's uh, it works. Stay tuned for more.